He played 100 games as the star goalie for the U.S. men's national team. But these days, Tony Miola is traveling and talking about the game. This week, he's been in Tampa to promote the USA versus Martinique match, which took place last night at Raymond James. But we got him here today. Tony, how are you? Good. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure that you are joining us today and you don't come alone. Introduce yeah, us. I travel here with uh, the Gold <laughs> Cup, the, the cup that for the next couple of weeks, uh, the U.S. and the rest of the CONCACAF region is looking to win. And um, I'm, I'm here with Allstate, who are the official protectors of the cup. And uh, this is a cup that's near and dear to my heart. I played in this first tournament in 1991 uh, with the U.S. We won the first Gold Cup. The only problem with this cup now is that Mexico currently owns the cup. Right. So we've got to get it back here to the U.S. Well, and I like the whole protect the cup theme that you see on Twitter and all over social networking, but it's more getting it back. <laughs> yeah, no, we need to get it back. And, and Bruce Arena right now in this tournament um, has done such a great job of integrating some new players to this group and uh, giving guys an opportunity. And, you know, we're a year away from the World Cup right now. And uh, as we start to zero in on who's going to uh, make this 23-man roster, assuming that we qualify now, uh, because we did start off fairly, uh, it, was a, it was a fairly difficult run the first two games. Uh, Bruce is going to have some guys that he needs to make some decisions on, and this Gold Cup gives him an opportunity to do that and see some players live. And talk about the new, the new coach, if you will. I mean, you kind of mentioned him there. I mean, what do you expect to see? What's the, well, the future looking like, if you can look into that crystal ball of well, yours? I have a history with Bruce. Um, Bruce was my college coach, sat at my dinner table when I was a senior in high school, and uh, chatted with my parents and, and got me to go to the University of Virginia and, and then became my national team coach in the 2002 World Cup. So we have a long history. Uh, how do I sum him up? He, he's a winner. He's won every place. He's won national championships in college. He's won um, uh, championships in Major League Soccer. He's won a, a Gold Cup. And he he's, was our national team coach. Took us to the quarterfinals of the World Cup in 2002, the best finish mm -hmm. we've ever had um, in the modern era of the game for sure. And those are, those are the heights that Bruce is trying to get us to right now. And uh, we got away from who we really were as a national team uh, for a couple of years, and now we're starting to get that, uh, that feeling back. Well, you know, I introduced you at the top of Cowers as a broadcaster right now, but you're also giving some time back to youth soccer. What do you see right now in the United States youth soccer and your involvement? Yeah, so with Allstate, uh, I've been doing this for five years now. We go around, and in, this, in the Tampa community, we were able to refurbish a field at uh, FC Tampa, and I went in yesterday. We did an official rib ribbon cutting, and then I did a clinic with some kids, and um, Allstate does such a great job of giving back to the community. As I mentioned, five years. The, the, if there's a trip during the year that makes me feel good, uh, it's these five trips that I take. And uh, because we, we outfit, uh, you know, I'd say needy programs that maybe wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity to be in the position that we're, we're giving them to be in. And what I'd hate to see is some 10 or 12 year old you know, give up the game because they don't have the equipment to play and they don't have the fields to play on and who knows who the next superstar is. So um, it's, it's a way for me to give back to the game through Allstate to a game that gave me so much. Um, you know, I played 20 years and in three World Cups and I could never have dreamed of any of that. So who knows who the next guy is that'll be in my shoes. Well, in closing here, I've got to bring up because Tampa Bay fans are just sitting reading everything they can, rowdy fans, I should say, about trying to get those last two spots in the MLS. How do you think Tampa Bay is doing? Is there a chance? How's the process looking? Well, there's a chance for sure. This, this city has such a great history uh, in the game, and the Rowdies have been around forever. And I grew up a New York Cosmo fan, but, of course, Rowdies were one of the teams that, that was always a, a great team to watch play. And um, they were in Major League Soccer once, and this is an opportunity now for them to get back. And I think if they do get back, it'll be a different picture than we saw you know, 15 or 20 years ago. Uh, as I said, great, great uh, history in the game. Um, the community seems to be rallied around this effort, and mm -hmm. uh, Commissioner Garber at Major League Soccer and his staff have a uh, difficult uh, task in choosing two cities. I know. We're up against some good cities, too. So, anyways, well, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it today. Keep pleasure. up the good work. Go USA, all that good stuff. Again, appreciate your time. Thanks so much.